Hello everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Guild Wars. This might be an odd choice to you of a game to Let's Play as it's an MMO, but I love this game a lot. So I want to show it off in the best way I know possible. So I'm going to make a character, we are going to see this character go to level 80, and I'm going to play through the character story. As you can see, I'm already pretty well versed with the game. So, one character slot empty, let's jump into making the character. I decided that I am going to make a Selvari and a female one. I've also decided that I want to be a ranger, as the only ranger I have needs a lot of work before it'll become very useful. It looks like Groot! <laughs> as you just heard, Sh Shadow is with me as always. And Shadow's already gone ahead and made his character that he's going to be playing with me as. That's even Groot like too. Okay, we have the young Groot, and we have a freaking older Groot. And he is finding very cute things to look at. Oh god, that's not okay. <laughs> and <there's one. laughs> Anyway, we are going to both be Selvari and both be progressing down the same personal story so we don't have to do double the work. Oh, sweet mother. And I've decided to change what she looks like slightly. This is one of my favorite skin patterns. Now we go to the head. No, oh, I forgot to choose something back. Okay, back to the body features. I forgot to choose something. I want to choose this dark bluish color for a glow. Which, as you can see, it glowing right there. So she can have her armor back now because we're done with the body. So we're going to the head. And I believe this was it. There we go. That's the... That's the hairstyle I would like. And that's the hair color. And onto the face. Go and last but not least. Okay, so yes, I've already decided what she's going to look like. Oh, she gets so pretty. <laughs> You think she looks pretty? Good. Good. Isn't that good looking? Oh, hello there, good looking! Sorry. You will be, be able to see Shadow's character when I'm done customizing mine. And get into the story. That's all custom stuff, though. These dyes don't really matter, as I will be changing them as soon as we get into the game. As I have a ton of dyes to go through. So yes, on to the next step. I get to choose what pet I'm going to have as a ranger. I am going to go with a fern hound as I'm a Salvari and it's a special Salvari dog. I'm going to choose that I... I use dignity to overcome my troubles. And the next questions are going to change what you have for a personal story. As I said, we will be doing the same, so we're going to go that I had a vision of a green knight. The most important teaching to me is all things have a right to grow. And I was awakened under the circle of night. And my name is going to be Gamer Fox. With a space in between, because that works. Moving right along then, intro video. I am Silvari. I was thinking of a coat. 
no color. 25 years ago, my people first appeared. And if I could have pink. The pale tree flowered, and the first born awakened. The dream contains my race's memories. Like. We gain awareness here, and then awaken into the world. Pink. The dream fills Never me with knowledge, and people. is my connection mm -hmm. to others. Is it okay? It is my inspiration, my guiding light. <sighs> While here, I have discovered my purpose, to face evil and destroy it. Even now, I sense my destiny calling me to awaken. Colors. My time is soon. Nature and goodness are under siege. All life hangs in the balance. If Tyria is to survive, it will need us. If we fail, the dream will be consumed by nightmare. And Tyria will wither and die. I dream of battle. The voices of my people whisper of warfare and a storm of combat. I see a knight in armor, fierce with challenge. He offers me the gift of courage. The dream hints at my future. I see friendly faces, good and noble folk. They need me. I must keep them safe. The devouring force threatens all of Tyria. I will stand against that danger. On this, the eve of my awakening, I feel fire in my blood. And yet, I sense darkness approaching. Something intrudes upon the dream. It blocks the path to my awakening. Before I can enter the world, I must first face this evil and vanquish it. I am summoned by the dream. This is my story. Okay, and here we find ourselves loading into Fighting the Nightmare. That video went ahead and explained things for us pretty well. Anyway, we find ourselves here. Another person running off. And beside me, we have Shadow's character. Oh, he doesn't look cool though. <laughs> Hmm? It doesn't look cool enough. <laughs> so, first thing I said we were going to do is we were going to get it customized with the hero screen. On the first page of the hero screen, you have your equipment. This will show you what you have equipped in and where you can come to equip new equipment. The wardrobe, which is used for, which we'll cover later. Actually, we'll cover it now. You can get different looks for different things. Sets of pieces of armor and weapons. Like if I click on this, I have different looks from different characters and all that. And over here, you see I have a trans simulation charge or transmutation. I'm not sure how to say it. Transmutation, I think. And if I were to use it, it would permanently stay as that. But I don't use those until I get a character that's level 80, as it's just a waste. Anyway. Dyes are next, which is where I mainly want to come, as you can change the color of your armor. So I can do things such as this, and make things look a lot nicer than the basic colors the game gives you. So that's what I'm going to go ahead with. Dyes are free to... You're free to change the dyes of your armor. Now. <laughs> now. Next on the list, you have outfits. I only t earn two, own two outfits at a time uh, right now, but they're basically something that covers over all your armor and doesn't change when you switch armor. Next, we have miniatures, which you basically have little creatures or whatever following you. I'm not going to equip one at this point. No, Next you have really finishers, needed. which isn't really important unless you play in a lot in PvP things, which we'll get to later. And then mail car carriers is not important at all, it's just what drops off mail to you. You know, some of them make a very annoying sound. 
The next is build. This will show you which each weapon your character can is able of using and what skills that you get for that. As well as it's the category where you do specializations. That's another thing we'll have to get to. Thank you, Augie opening. Ah. Here's showing you all the skills you can have, but that's one thing we can't do yet. And the third thing we can't get to, to level 21. We can't get to this slot yet, since it's, it's, it's more level 11, but we'll get there. Here's our sto here's the my story tab. Clicking on I am in your character's name will tell you the same things you saw when you put your character's name in. The next thing will tell you what to do next. And the other things are just living world things, which are basically events that keep being updated. This is the achievement section. There's a lot here, and I don't feel like going over it at the minute, but at the moment, but in this section, doing thing, completing circuit, certain tasks will cause you to get achievements, which will cause you to build up these points up here, which will get you treasure. And, well, not treasure, but goodies. This will also show you thing, this thing down here. I have a 6% gold find, a 2% karma gain, a plus 3% X gain, and a plus 100. 107% magic find, which improves the amount the the items I find. I'm fumbling over my words a lot. My magic find a lot higher. Than and the last thing is nothing I can really do with yet. Anyway, we come back to the screen and we find Shadow dancing. He looks much cooler like that. Yes, he does. I with, like him with an awesome set of armor on. I think I'm, I think he's a keeper. Yep. Well, I'm not going to bother putting one of those armors on. Anyway, are you ready to move out, Shadow? Okay, fine. Dance party. Music interruption. Yes, because that is totally the music we need to play for this. Conquer face all the way. <laughs> yes, they are, there are what I tend to call as slash commands, which will make your character do different things. In this case, slash dance makes our characters dance. Looks like we've got a lot of people to go forth with. Ready when you are. I'm changing the size, please. Another thing we have here is our inventory, but we don't have anything in it at the moment. Running over here, I have to let Kate's speech go. That's okay. Dreamer, I am Case. I need your help. Dance. Can you hear jump, me? Where you jump, are? Jump, dream. Jump, dance. In the dream. I wonder if I could teleport mean? out of this place using a friend call. I am interior. <laughs> that would be a really bad idea. Yes. <laughs> Maybe on a different character. I can't explain right now. I've we never tried it before. Something is poisoning the dream. Poisoning the dream? Of course, I will do whatever I can to help you. I know cheating using Why XP me? boosters. That your spirit thing. is strong. Do not underestimate yourself. Head to the far embankment, and I'll meet you there. Alrighty. Shadow has the nice ease of having a bank golem, which I do not have. Um, the next thing on our top bar is mail. You receive mail for different things up here. This is not important right now. What are you doing? Swinging at your cross. Moving right along. The bridge is still kicking! No, it's not! No! Okay, because there's other people going in and they were able to go on ahead of us, they have activated the final battle of this without us, and we must wait for them to finish it. Can I say poo? So we've got to fight these nightmare hounds. Until then. Get this bridge reformed with the utmost.
utmost haste. I wish we could just like jump over there. Yeah, I agree. Ah, I fell! I wanna jump over there. The next thing is the Black Lion Trading Company. It is where you'll be able to get gems which can be purchased by either real money or converting gold into them, which it's not always the nicest thing to do. And you can also do things like sell items to other players. I'll go over it at a different time. Well, we have something to In the meantime, however... Hello! Hurry, Sophie. Be ready for anything. Damn it, dude, stand up. Swiftly now. Forget to see how tall you are compared to her. So we need to kill the Nightmare Hounds. And Kate has been able to enter the dream enough to help us fight. Popper! Hey look, somebody else. Hmm. Get off my arm! Carpet beetle? Yep. Where did you flick it to? That, that way. Did it tickle? Yes, it was very tickle-ish. But yes, as we are almost done, we are about to see what will happen next. They're carpet beetles. Hmm? Carpet beetles go where carpet beetles go. Yep. Does whatever carpet beetles does. There goes my cap. Oh, my cap off my control key. Have a tree dragon. Burn it with fire. <laughs> I'm not the kind of thing that can burn it with fire. Okay, going over the controls now. Which I should have probably done a lot earlier, but whatever. Going over the controls. The W A S D keys are to move, which is. Obvious keys are obvious. Yeah. Now you can attack in one of two ways. You can either press the number key that corresponds with it, or you can click it. What? <laughs> you look over at me when you can say, or you can click it. Mm hmm Because you click yours. I choose to press the num- I don't- I don't like it. I like it, but that's just the way I am. Now, as you see, I'm strifing, but I'm use I'm strifing by holding the camera in place. Strifing. Yes, that's what's called moving side to side like that. You can also do it by hit pressing Q and E. That will cause you to strife. Pressing R will cause you to run in the direction facing forward. <laughs> I keep thinking it's the reply button. So I keep hitting it, and I run off the edge of the <laughs> Now the only other key worth, only other two keys that I really need to mention to you are the V key, which will allow you to dodge, if you've turned off double tap to dodge. Oh god, that thing's a murderer. And as you see, we gained our first level. And spacebar to jump. So, yes. So, yes, I just, see, I just hit R there and I started running. Oh, the, are we gonna do stuff in this map or are we gonna go to the one we know better? I think we'll start with the one we know better. Now, normally they want you to start here in Keldon Forest for a Salvari. But we don't know this Keldon Forest as well as we know other another place, so we're going to go there. And plus, it's a high, it's a lot more common that you'll see that other place. Now, the thing to cover is the lady who waved me over over here wants to show me things I can do here in the forest. 
Are you gonna listen to said lady? No. I'll listen to to the first to the first version of her where we're heading. Did you get to do whatever you were doing over there? Yep. I was just buying a sword. All right, moving on. Itchy, itchy, itchy head. Exactly. What are you doing? Are you running? Yeah. Oh. Do you have to show that off? No. I forgot about the whole waypoint thing. Okay! Something I forgot about that's new to Guild Wars as of the Heart of Thorns is you no longer need to run to an, to the starting location of a different race. You can just warp there, because you already have the first waypoint. I linked it too, by the way. Over chat. Mm -hmm. So we are going to head to the Village of Shaymore. This is the starting area for the humans. We're human at heart. Oh god, Norn. And we are about to witness a Norn. With a face in his chest. <laughs> There's a face in his chest. <laughs> it's not coming through on mine. Oh, he ran away. Oh, there was a face. Something's wrong Damn, with the good looking. I'm taller. Yes, you are taller. I chose to be small. No, I was, I was comparing myself to this dude. Oh, but no, you're taller than me. Anyways. I'll protect you. Probably not as good as your pet can, but I'll protect you. Wait. Since when did I have a river drake? <laughs> I did not- I can't even choose a drake as a- What?! <laughs> you see, you've seen this, right? <laughs> what the heck is going on here? <laughs> I, think, I think you got gypped out of your, your cute little thing. That's not fair! Maybe you should go back to the Savari map and see if you have it. Yeah, I'm going Test. to. That's not fair! <laughs> As a starting pet, you know? <laughs> I'm stuck with a river train! No! It's not fair! It's not fair! It's not fair! It's not nice! I think you got the ugly dog on the patch. It's not fair! I can't even do anything with my pets yet! <laughs> So I can't even see if it's like I I still have my friend. Oh my god! That's not fair. <laughs> anyway, back here we're just gonna have to put up with it. If I go back in the video and find that I've always have a river drake, I'm going to be pissed off. <laughs> but there's no way a Silvari can have a river drake. Their options are Moa, Stalker, and Fernhound. I picked the Fernhound. Why do I have a River Drake? I told Jesse. Yes, we have a couple of friends online. And oh my god. We usually tell them funny things. Anyway, moving right along. We are going to move into the first... I never did show off the person in, in this area that was that girl who wanted to talk to me. Oh well, she was just gonna sh- they were just gonna show me where I can go to do things. Oh my god, I'm like still just thinking about that. Like what we're coming over here to do. As you see, this heart appeared up in the corner. It's telling us things we can do. First thing we want to do is we want to come over here and tend the corn. Tend it? Yes. I'm going to kill this river drake. I did not want a river drake. <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> it's kind of like ordering something on the internet and receiving somebody else's order. <laughs> like, um, or more accurately, like lingerie or something. What I ordered, what I got. <laughs> what I ordered, a tiny little duck toy. <laughs> Turns out to be like. Another thing you can do is you can entertain the cows by dancing for them. Some of these hearts are really easy to do. 
others not so much. What the wise guy Jesse have to say? Um, how does that happen? Like, it just swapped from Fern Dog to River Drake on its own? Ah! Or she swapped them. I'm like, she's level two. She, I can't even use my pet things yet. Alright, next on the things of, t of what we can do here, as we're almost done, we can flatten these worm mounds and fight worms as they're coming out of them. As you can see, they're really easy to kill, so I'm going to kill mine and Shadow can catch up when he's done talking to our friend. And as you see, all I need to do is kill two of them to get our heart done. Once you complete the heart, you'll get this, which I'm not going to bother to read. It's just a thank you letter. You get some money and you get karma. Let me just murder this. Okay, let me go murder some more. Yep, I'll wait for you. As you can see in the inventory now, the only thing I have in there is uh, the old bow. <laughs> and they came in here to get the new bow. Up in the corner here, you'll notice something that's pointing us towards what we can do next. Or a place we can go. Down below it is the dailies category. It will give you things that you can do, and if you complete them, you'll get rewards. I've already completed one because it was simply viewing something that we are going to view in the near future. And such. I also plan to, to complete a lot of maps. Shadow has a character who the only maps he has not completed are the new ones. You know, I still have 100% map completion, though. Hmm. My great gray baby. Yes. Kill the damn thing, would you? I don't think I will be showing me getting one- Like, I don't think I will try to get 100% on this character. But I will definitely complete the map- some maps. This river drink is so ugly. <laughs> she got the ugly ducky. Look at it. I'm going to kill its babies. You're not very nice. Oh god. I'm gonna murder these guys. Okay. Die. So yes, this this is a simple event case of attack the river drakes, which is kind of morbid when you think about it, because I have a river drake as a pet. No, I don't have a moment, kid. Open this trap, reveal a baby, kill it. He asked what the channel was because he didn't know. Feel free to tell him. And I am going to finish this heart here. And I'm going to call it good for this episode. As we are nearing our time limit. Totally puts it up like right now. All I have to do is get your audio from you. And somehow mix it together. I know how to do that. Huh. At least we don't try to talk at the exact same time. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. We are almost on this heart. And I will show you what you what happens if you go and click go to a person that has the heart over their head when they're done. And we sign off with a level three and a bag that's for slots. We have a title for this one. 
And that's it, your dog went poof! <laughs> Where did my puppy go? <laughs> Alright, collect the rewards from the heart and talk to this person. They will sell you things for karma. This person sells you an accessory. I'm not going to buy yet. I'm gonna do that. Actually, yeah, I probably should. You can also sell junk and sell things to him. And I will buy this and I will show you equipping it. Accessories go on down here. They don't show up on your character, but they're definitely there. So anyway, that was our first episode of Let's Play Guild Wars. I hope you like my character. I hope you like the series. Because you will be seeing more of it. And if there's like... <laughs> I totally cut you off. Hey, 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 I can abduct you. Kind of. They're so different size, they look cute. Yeah. Stands in you practically. I'm tall. Alright, so we pretty much... Yes. I'm gonna smack your thing in the ass. <laughs> Go right ahead. Alrighty then, so... I am not going to do our normal outro because that's just really, really weird for this. So yes, this was our first episode of Guild Wars. I hope you liked it. If you did, please subscribe. And we will see you all in the next day. Totally stock gamer fall. And we will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.